Today we're going to be revealing the truth of the Dark Urge and finding out who we really are or who we were. But the plot only thickens from this point because this information leads to even further complications. We'll also be tracking down the Gif Yankee Voss and the Devil Raphael at the House of Pleasures. Hopefully Shadowheart won't be too jealous about that. We'll be sure to ask her. <laughs> but guys, I've also updated my audio for this video, so let me know if it sounds bad or if anything's off. I'm still adjusting all the levels of everything, but it should be a improvement overall. Hopefully. Maybe you think the game audio or my mic is too loud, just let me know and I need to adjust these things as we go. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be live streaming Starfield on the 1st. So if you want to watch that live, we're going to do a live playthrough of the main quest and beyond. So if you want to watch that live, make sure you subscribe with the bell icon. And even then, YouTube might not actually send you a notification. So just check the channel on the live streaming section if that's something you want to watch as well. But anyway... Let's carry on with the Baldur's Gate 3 Evil Playthrough, Episode 15. Here we are at the gates to Baldur's Gate. I can see the city over this bridge. That NPC just there looks very excited for today's episode, doesn't he? Look at him go. And I can see the lands beyond. It looks stunningly beautiful. Let's go over here and pass across. Hopefully we can. We're auto-saving. South Span Checkpoint. Here we are. We're finally here. We've made it. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Not a refugee, you insolent peasant. Then you don't need to be in the city. Next! Oh, well, I'm not paying 200 gold to get in, so let's come back around here. See if I can find another way into the city. A more conspicuous way, perhaps. Come on, Uglash. Get yourself down these vines. Oh, we failed a perception check. There could have been something here. I guess we'll never know. But it looks like if we stand just here, we can jump onto... Wow, this is actually too easy. <laughs> wow, really? I think maybe even Gale can make it across there. Oh, no. He can, he can. Fantastic. Okay. Um, can I climb up here? Oi! And jump over here. We've done it, boys. We're in the city. We've made it to Baldur's Gate. We've outsmarted them, guys. Look at that. They have no idea we're here. Let's go and explore the, um, the guard tower now. There's a few weapons in here. Up the ladder we go. I'm gonna shout down at them and be like, ha ha, I am now the king of the castle. Oh my god, health potions. And they're free. Look at this. Oh, free. Let's go up to the top balcony here. Amazing. Look at this view. You can see the whole world from up here. Wow. This outer city is massive. And now we can go into the city itself. Climb back down. Okay, so now we've got past the checkpoint and we can go into the city of Baldur's Gate. We can now do this quest over here, Lysel, to speak with Voss at the Charessa's caress and see what he wanted from us. Since we also now know where Orpheus is and what happened to him, it's going to be quite interesting to see how this pans out. So the Charessa's caress is just here on the right of the fast travel point. So, oh, it's this building here. Okay, let's go inside. Hello there. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. Uh, a man cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? What kind of... Whip? What? Come on, that sounds delightful. My sole desire is to dominate the world and leave it trembling beneath my feet. <laughs> It does sound delightful. It's not my first choice, but I wouldn't say no. Of course you wouldn't. Who can resist the pleasure of the strap once leather meets flesh? It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Damn, when'd she get back? Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. 
Mate, this is where Boulder's Gate is. This is where it starts, man. Let's go. Will this stern librarian of yours be back tomorrow? Swishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. <laughs> Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. Well, I'll find out for you. Usually my character isn't very helpful, but in this case, we need to fill that leather strap on our skin. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh, but I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. <laughs> Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. It's so hard Elminster's not to... library? People will get their thrills in the strangest of places. Didn't we need to go there for Gale's side quest as well? It's so easy to get distracted in this game. <laughs> like, I was like, oh yeah, let's go do Lazelle's side quest. And then, oh my god, what is happening? You have drought escorts on hand. That does sound tempting. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill, they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer. No, not they can't untangle. They're through <laughs> the curtain to the right. Okay, fantastic. You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. Are there other options for companionship? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we we'll are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Raphael. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Damn. Did the devil give you his name? Yeah. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Can we go and check out the drow room first. Apparently that's in here. Hello there. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. A moment? Don't be shy. What kind of services do you provide? <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezzo-Baranzan love trick. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm tempted, so I must say. I want to hire you, beautiful lad. <laughs> I want both of you at the same time. In that case, we will require two of you. And indeed, I suggest it. Because I have never seen a creature as fair as this pale bow beside you. <laughs> what a world. I never dreamed I'd be on the paying end in a brothel. But our leader here has made the dire mistake of failing to sleep with me so far. And it's a mistake I have been aching to correct are you telling me that we can do the hundred percent romance playthrough i am a completionist so i will engage in this awesome and what's the most hilarious thing about this is gail <laughs> still <laughs> hasn't slept with anyone bless him my apology to starry we should correct that mistake i'll glass smash guys let's go oh, so eager you're delicious <laughs> charming there must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <coughs> Coin. 1,000 gold. Fish out the money. Let's go. This is thrilling. Okay, where we going? Where we going? I already got Starring's approval anyway, so I don't really need to follow. I'm slightly concerned, to be honest with you. I have no idea what to expect from this. I didn't even know you could have more than one relationship in this game with multiple people at once. It was only hinted at in early access. Oh, we got that 100% completion voice. Okay, we're going to the... Oh, this is the Devil's Den room. My God, what, what kind of like a maze is this place? We're still going. Is this the room? Oh my God, it's like Blackreach. 
they know that I like Scarab. This we're, we're into a winner here, boy. Look, you didn't sign a treaty permitting you to march a warband through my lands. You paid for- As much as I enjoy when others watch, that wasn't included in the price. Oh, I see. Okay, so they have to- Lizelle broke up with us last episode free. anyway. But now. So we'll just have them waiting outside. Maybe there's like a window just here they can look through. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? Shall we what? Take her hand. I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. We're going to get robbed. Take my massive gauntlet. Oh, I'm blind. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional. You'll get your desire. His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruins so many lives. You haven't earned the right to stare at me like that. Big talk coming from you, who always wanted to eat me. I can't help myself. You look so delicious. For this, I feel we should be paying you. Astarian lavishes attentions on everyone present with flawless technique, unfazed. It's all pure instinct, but when you meet his eye for a moment, there's a look about him that reveals he's a million realms away. A free out of 10 experience for him. He wanted us all to himself. Unglush does not share. Is there any... Give me a moment for pity's sake. You've exhausted me already. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. Is there anything else I should know of this place? <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. Let's speak to Astarian. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> okay, that's another dialogue thing for when we spoke to Orion. Surely we have other dialogue with him. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, we're still in the friend zone. We've done well, boys. No strings attached. I like it. Uh, let's tell Lysel. Did you enjoy watching Lysel? Boulder's Gate at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. I'm surprised there were no reactions to uh, to that scene. But it seems like this is what I was saving my gold for then. All right, so now we've got to go and find the devil. Oh, it's Voss and Raphael here. Hello there. You must. Hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? Yeah. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Vos. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. What? Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room. Once you're loosed from his claws. 
The heck of a face scar he has now. He didn't have that last time we saw it. The devil's dead. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. <laughs> One more thing before we begin, though. What am I looking at? What's happened? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. I wonder what would happen if we had turned full Mind Flare by now and visit him. Another party trick. Show me something real. That was no party trick. Somebody's missing. Can't you tell? That illithid you keep in your pocket can't hear us anymore i trust the illithid more than i trust you <laughs> yeah i mean that's true i'm not scared of that creature not when bal himself has hooked his eyes on me oh come it's the reason you're in this predicament and i'm your only way out of it indulge me and at least hear me out I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The Emperor. Orpheus, yeah, he probably has the power to destroy it. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Might kill us. Speak, devil. We're listening. Go on. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. Your first mistake was telling us where you'd stored the weapon? His House of Hope. How do we get to his House of Hope? Sounds too good to be true. I like how it's called Orphoric Hammer to free Orpheus. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Oh boy. Suppose you want my soul in exchange for the hammer, and Uglush does not give power. You really do think highly of yourself. My sights are set on something much more valuable than your soul. <laughs> Succulent, though it would be. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kaleer, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Handing that crown to this devil will be like feeding gunpowder to a lava worm. Agree to nothing. What exactly is this crown? Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. Yeah. 
It was not a happy meeting. <laughs> and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's wow. folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. So he wants to use it for ruling the Nine Hells. How could you be able to succeed in using the crown where Karasus couldn't... Well, I guess he's not mortal. I am no mortal! <laughs> and I do not fail. If you don't fail, how come you didn't get hold of the crown way back then? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. Mm. They brought the crown back into play. Oh, I just love Raphael. He was such a good actor. It must really annoy you that some mortals managed to steal the crown when you couldn't. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. Mm. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer. Now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. Right. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. <laughs> he claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. He's told us a few things here. Firstly, we know that we can't use the crown to control the Elder Brain. We're immortal, so it would kill us. A plan of taking over the world probably wouldn't work. Doesn't mean I won't try though. Secondly, the crown itself, even though we can't use it, is a very powerful artifact that maybe Gale could use. The crown for a hammer and a potential chance that Orpheus is going to help us? I don't think so. I'll control the crown for myself once I have the nether stones. <laughs> Sorry, you were serious? The crown has laid low all who attempt to harness its power. Archwizards, emperors, gods. It would tear you apart. Let's find out, Raphael. I'll see you later. I won't stop you. But time is running out. 
So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. He told us where the hammer is, though, so I can still get it anyway. Let's talk to Gale. I knew any artifact that could command an Elder Brain must be close to omnipotent. But for it to be the very crown Carcer's forged, it verges on unbelievable. I assure you, the hammer Raphael offered is mere scrap metal in comparison, whatever use he claims for it. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. Okay, okay. We can do that. Talk to Lysel. She's going to be a bit angry, I think. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Hold on a moment, Lysel. Because we don't need... Oh, it's actually... It's a dialogue option, so you can do that. They've thought about this. We don't need the deal. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. You noob. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Yeah. She's so feisty. I never know if she's angry or turned on by our choices. And now we've got to go and speak to Kirath Voss. Let's go and find him. He should be somewhere in there. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. What? Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Ah, it's the Emperor. It's Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Shall we tell him the truth behind that? He wants the crown that's on the brain. Let's turn that. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? Ah. Does it matter? I said no. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down. But it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again. What were the terms of the deal he offered you? Why is he so keen to find out? Let's just tell him. I mean, we're not going to take the deal. We're going to steal the hammer. He wanted the crown the brain is wearing and offered me the means to free Orpheus. An horrendous deal. Imagine a crown of sufficient power to dominate an elder brain atop a devil's head. You would be trading one apocalyptic event for another. Thank you for telling me. And for rejecting him. And now, we must be doubly on our guard. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it. No matter what the devil whispers in your ear. True, true. But if we freed Orpheus, he could potentially help us. But there is that option if we do get the hammer. So I think we'll get the hammer and we'll figure out what we want to do with it when we have more information. Ah, here's Kirath Voss. He's upstairs there. Up. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Oh, we can deceive him. No, I will find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. 
Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Awesome. I'm excited to continue this storyline. Orpheus sensed the Tabor before and his guard attacked. When we attack, if we free him. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. <laughs> okay, he's been trapped for a long time. <laughs> Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? Probably, well, he said he's keeping it in the House of Hope. It's just like, how do we get there? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Hmm. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Oh, okay. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Ah, so he knows, the Emperor knows that we are obviously doing this anyway. Lovely. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? Oh, wait, am I meant to intervene at this point? Watch silently. What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up another tankard for the fist. Damn. Wow. <laughs> what does she say? Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. <laughs> Uglash doesn't Oi. like that. You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. You better get used to disappointment. I'm not making a deal with him. You won't come out of this alive without him. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. What's in it for you? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. I don't believe the devil cares for the fate of this world. I'll stop the brain without his help. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a crap deal. Now, before we move on from here, we have another journal entry to solve the open hand temple murders, which we were investigating last episode. Apparently, Flago's flop house is adorned with flowery motifs matching the key we found underneath the Open Hand Temple. We should see what the key unlocks. Obviously, this is something we were doing last episode, but um, I want to see where it ends up because we got pretty far with discovering what was actually happening there. See if we can open this door. Flago's flop house. I found so many victims for Cazador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Oh my god, really? Compared I to the, the brothel, really this place is just it completely it different energy. It's an absolute dive bar in the I UK, is what we would say. There must be a door that's locked. This one? Candle key. 
Hello there. Someone's having a sponge bath in there. There's different chests here. Different people. Oh, one sec. There's a ladder that goes upstairs. Go up here. Okay, so an attic with double doors leading onto the balcony. A wardrobe that's locked. Let me open that with the... Oh, Starion, open that with the key. The shapeshifter's key fit perfectly. Now, what's inside? Oh, what is inside? There, out there. Someone spilled some blood. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Indeed. What is the source? 19. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Right, like, could I not have just, like, pulled out the body? If I failed that, would I have just not pulled it out? Another motor. A flower-shaped key with a five scratched on the petal. Pretty little key. Identical to the one I took from the shapeshifter in the temple tunnel. But it has a five on it. Bloodstained note. Two hands, two hands, two of them. More needed, not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in my blood more. Interesting. And a bookshelf with some spells, infernal contracts and bargains. Is this just a standard book? This book presents a guide on which devils to bargain with for what? Okay. Oh, there's some temple plans, so he was definitely... An app with Father Logan's name. Seems the shapeshifters were all over the top... And a bloodstained parchment. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets in this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood, aspirant. Most of these people have been killed, but there's... One, two, three, four, five, six people still left to die. We found the lair of a ballast murder in Frago's flop house. A target list details the killer's instructions. Father Logan's name appears on the list. We should show the investigator. Can I not fulfill the list myself? We also found, oh, Phil Flon's body. No way. So this was the dwarf. This was the dwarf. No, I really wanted to experience the leather whip. That's probably the biggest disappointment in Baldur's Gate 3 so far, guys. I think I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10 now. Now, Astarian's quest also says that we can look for other spawn that Astaria mentioned before in taverns, such as the Flop House. And when we came in here, Astarian said this place is perfect. We have here. Who are you? So, good. So, give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. I thought you were someone else. Greetings. So forth, so on. I'm looking for a killer, a dwarf in red, just like you. How dare you accusing an upstanding citizen like me of being a dwarf? I'm a halfling, you oaf. <laughs> <You should. laughs> Poor guy. These people look very vampire-like. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom. And you believed him? Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. <laughs> Astarian! It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dal. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Let's hold our tongue. Let's wait. I don't want to spoil anything. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Ah! Ah! Brother! Please! 
Damn, Astarian. Fork or burn? Your choice. You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. I'm going to stop Kazador. Yes. What the hell's happened to you, Astarian? What are you? I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Kazador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. <laughs> this isn't over, Astarian. Ooh, magic. Poor fools. They actually think Kazador will save them. Well, we've lost the element of surprise. They'll warn him we're coming. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Kazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Kazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Kazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Yes, for ourselves, for yourself, you mean. Well, yes, technically, only I will ascend and gain the ritual's power. But we're a team. If I become all-powerful, then we become all-powerful. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. Oh, yeah, I want you to be a powerful vampire. I've got your back. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. You're a true friend. Friend zone. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. I like how I call them out straight away. Like, oh, these guys look like vampires. They literally had the same outfit as Starion was wearing when I met him. Let's go back to the Shares Caress and tell them about the dead dwarf. See if anything happens. Found Fion's corpse. He's been murdered. Murdered? Ye gods, the poor thing. Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. I can replace her, do not fear. I'm sure you can spare a little something for me at least. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Oh damn. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, Round two, sweetie? boys. Oh, interesting. Impress the murder tribunal? Kill to gain access to the ballast murder tribunal. If we kill the targets on this list and bring severed hands like the note said as proof, we can enter the temple of Bao. I'm surprised I can't enter anyway. I mean, Orion like said, oh, father will be pleased to meet us and stuff. It sounded like we were kind of connected in some way. Dude, look at this view. Like, look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? I almost completely missed this. There's loads of tents in on the borders. I don't know what that's meant to be, like refugee camps or something. Now, it seems like we can also speak to Valeria. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's Put you up to something. Billy Elephant. 
She's asked me to find Logan's real killer, seeing as you couldn't be bothered. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? I will tell him about the group of shape-shifting assassins that are under the temple, along with more murder victims. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Lorgan killed? I spoke with Father Lorgan's corpse. He was killed by a dwarf dressed in red, not Brilgor. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling. Hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. Father Lorgan's murder is just part of a bigger plot. A Baal plot. I still want to join the Baal cult, so I don't know if this will affect it. A Baal plot? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. Hmm. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Why should I even tell you? It doesn't sound like you even care. Well, that's just insulting. <laughs> I am an investigator, you know. But I'm off the clock, and this is Devella's pet project. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Ah, okay. That's very handy. What is he doing? Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! All right, so now we've got a city pass. Let's go all the way to the north of the street. I want to get into the lower city. I want to see what it looks like. I really want to kill these people on this list and see what we can find. If it ain't broke, it's because we already helped you fix it. <laughs> so there is actually a drawbridge here and some still watchers stopping our way and beyond the drawbridge lies the inner city pretty mad defenses that they have sorry chum can't let you through worms rocks closed for the day oh we can persuade them as well we had that invitation from last episode i've been invited to the ordination might be you don't look the posh sort. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Lower the gates. Special permission. I guess we also... Rock solid alibi. Starion likes that apparently. He's inspired now. I guess the alternative thing we could have said was about the investigation. That's kind of like what my plan was, but... Both work, which is cool. <laughs> Valerus Fell was laughing there. What the heck? Oh, wait. This is our butler. Wait, am I in the Temple of Baal? That triumph I've been after triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Your father loves you. So proud. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your line. Lord Baal.
Sal shall have but one chosen. Ah. Holy moly. Memories flood back. Snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. What All is greater than you could have dreamed? You are a spawn of Baal. His heir, his scion. Oh, revel in the memories of Murta. Recall that there was another, the woman beneath your feet, Orin. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin, dear sister, must die by your hand, an offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today yes. is a wonderful day for murder. <laughs> halt! Okay. Oh. We do not know how you gained entry. But your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. Has he really? The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Oh, another earthquake and an oil save. Hells, not this again. Lord Gortash is expecting you. The brain appears to be resisting its masters. It's acting of its own will. Trying to escape. Venture forth. The dark urge history finally revealed. Oh my god, look at all these quest markers. Investigate the murder. We have to talk to these people or we can murder them. Right, the first one's just over here. Let's head over. Is this the first pick that gets in here? Ironically. Oh. Your old things are here. Interesting. It's Apparently, the Emperor's point. old hideout is also here as well. Is that so? But I think we have to go down the wooden I stairs in the kitchen to get there. The fighting. Let's do that quickly before we go on. The cellars are just down the stairs. There, we'll find my old lodgings. Why didn't you warn me about all of these rats? What is happening here? There's a fire wine barrel. Nice. Those I was inspired by that damage we just done. We can also go and finish off this one here. How can we hit the maximum amounts of them? By throwing something, I guess. We can get all of these guys with an acid vial. To get rid of them. Yay! And then I think we'll end our turn and they're going to try and attack us. They're dashing over the acid. Might as well start whipping these guys. Erect. Erect. Because I'm a fighter, we can attack again. Hit a bunch of these guys. There we go. Oh my god, there was loads over here. I should have thrown something at them. I didn't see them. Why are they bursting into fire? Oh, they ran over the fire floor. I see. One of them attacked Astaria and did two damage. Oh no disengage over here so we're out of the way die die can i push this one into the fire push him into the fire there we go the one side. for the ages there's a hidden door that leads further in <laughs> the mechanism to open is somewhere among the wine racks among the wine racks there's a mechanism hidden there oh keepsake ring what is this Dominate Beast, level 5 enchantment spell. So, is this the door I need to go through? 
On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Is this the passage? Is it in the wine room? Look at all this wine. Something over there. Lazel has noticed the button. Ooh. If it opens up this wine bar, oh mate, it's like going into uh, put my hands on everything. the Hufflepuff common room in Hogwarts. Go through. Oh, I love that. Really cool entrance. The Quellith's been awakened. Vlacky's forces are near. Are they? Let's close the button here. Get the Yankee. Vlacky has found us. Get rid of them quickly. Okay, this is not ideal. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. All right, let's put a Styron and Gale behind the columns here. Me. And we will... Oh! Sneak in. No, Lazelle, you're standing in the cone of vision, you fool. This is very good. Very good indeed. We can sneak upstairs even. Take out their sorcerers, potentially. Oh, hiding failed. What a pleasant surprise. Here you are. As brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. <laughs> of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me. What did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? Dithyanki, more than our so-called queen did. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the illithid interloper, and restore it to our queen. You should know, the Emperor is not the only occupant of the astral plane. What are you doing? Oh. My dear child. I already know all there is to know. I will liberate you from your puppet master, Chamarzala Vlakith! Does she know? I'm not certain she does. Oh boy. Luckily she missed. Uglush is blind. That's not ideal. And he's buffing up. There's even more coming through the portals. Run over. Critical miss? Come on. There we go. And again! Another miss. Let's use a fireball at these enemies on Gale. Oh, beautiful. We use blinding shot. I think I'm going to action surge on Lysel. Attack this one again. And again. Uglash is going to have to deal with these guys. Let's use divine smite. Oh, we crit. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we missed. Uh, luckily, he can't hit me either. He has dazed us there. That's annoying. We're going to have to kill him to stop him from keeping the gate open. Oh, Gale being frozen is really bad. Right, let's move just here. And then we'll try and use a arrow of acid. Like so. Nine damage. We'll get Lazel to dash and run over here. Then Uglash is still getting hit. Ooh. Oh boy. Gale could die here. Oh no. Wow, what is she doing? She could just kill him immediately. That was an interesting move. I'm not so sure if the AI knew what it was doing. Let's try and hit her. Ooh. Nice. Okay, she's dead. This is good. Now I can jump down here and help Gale. Whee! I'm coming to help, Gale. Way. Oh, he's trying to get even more through there. Oh, boy. We really need to kill him. He's like a priority target right now. Hopefully, we can hit them all. Yes. Two health left. This is terrible. Oh, 15 damage on Lazar. Okay, let's see what she does. Oh, my God. Critical hit. Half Gale's health, but luckily we've knocked her down for Uglash to destroy. Might level three. Oh. Miss. 40% chance. Oh, she's... I could actually just finish her from here, to be honest. That's probably the best thing to do. 84% chance to hit? 60% chance to hit. A body on the floor, Gale. Can you do it? 28 damage. Damn. She has the boots of psionic movement. Unlocks flying. 
Oh, luckily he's shooting Gale. He's almost dead. 29 damage. Nice. Surprise! You can now attack. An easy Black kill. Is relentless. You handled it well. Let us hope she exhausts her forces soon. Now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. The sunset can't come quickly enough. An Archduke's public work. As Archduke, Lord Gortash's top priority will be public works to ensure that the city streets, sewers, docks, and most importantly its walls and gates are properly maintained. No policy can be more important. Sounds like he Light drew the short feet. straw, really. No wonder he didn't like the Archduke. So is this the statue? Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of hidden thing behind it. That's curious. Something over there. There's a button just here. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Sword of the Emperor? Let's examine this before we look at that. 7 to 16 damage. The Shapeshifter Slayer. This weapon deals additional 1d4 damage against shapeshifters or polymorph creatures. That is going to be the sword we use to kill our sister. The Wilder has plus 2 bonus to saving throws against magic as well. Interesting how he has this weapon here as well. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. This is his gif armor? Cerebral citadel armor. Brighten immunity. If the wearer is infested by a mind flare tadpole, they gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. And the gloves. Charm or frighten a creature to gain 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. The problem is, is that my current armor also looks very cool. Damn. Okay, look at it. It looks kind of cool. I think I prefer the other armor. A shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. There is also a wooden desk here. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. There she is, in all her glory. Duke Belen Stelmain, my own partner. The chains I use to bind my means. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality. Mate, I've been keeping those brains in the jars since the start of the game. I wish we could give those to him. Recipe for fiddlehead soup. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. Wow, well, goodness me. It's a pretty awesome area. Behind here. Another trap door. The backpack. Nothing in. The lower city sewers. What the heck? You shouldn't have come here. You can't win. I cut her. I cut her and cut her and cut her. But the more she bled, the harder she fought. This isn't Minbara, is it? This is the shapeshifter again. What are you doing down here? What needed to be done? Hunting our prey. Orin. Orin the Red. Baal's bitch is chosen. She is too strong here. His temple is close and she draws power from it. I intended to slaughter her there before her lord's eyeless gaze. <coughs> I didn't just come here to kill Orin. I came here to take her place at Baal's side. You intended to become Baal's chosen? You would have made a fine chosen of Baal. No, 
she would not. But her skin will make a pretty, pretty tapestry. Got you. Look at it. Father's favorite, all lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? <laughs> Should I set your lapdog to screaming? That could help you find the way. What have you done with Minthara? I mean, she must be still be at camp, right? Rather melodramatic, aren't you? Better to be dull and brittle. A mind mangled beast. No talent, no beauty in your atrocities. <sighs> A blunt blade like you is not fit to carve Baal's glory. Thick-headed and foolish to let the Bainite's heirs corrupt you. Gortash betrays us, bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter, uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock-rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then we jewel a sweet slaughter kin. The winner claims the stones. Ball's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Damn. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Ball's doctrine. So will your friend. So, this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal, witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. We were going to kill Gortash anyway, so that's fine with me. The promise of slaughter, of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. But first, first, you must make gut spill of the tyrant. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Come to my temple before you turn Gortash to Carrion. And I will ready your friend's corpse to greet you. <laughs> Baal is waiting, slaughter kin. Do not disappoint him. Ah. So now we can't go to Baal's temple. This is the sewer itself then, isn't it? So what is actually through here? There's an iron torch, lots of poison and a lever here. And this, I guess, is the way to Bows. Looks like you can also jump through here as well from some other temple and go upstairs. But let's retrace our steps now and head back out of the hidden room. Well, apparently Gorash was a arms dealer. Notes on watching him closely, interesting. I mean, he doesn't seem to be the noble, outstanding gentleman that he portrays himself as. Go back through the barrels and into the Elfsong Tavern. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen now, and apparently Rovir is the person that needs to be killed. Can I poison any of his food? We got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? Good news, chef. I killed the rats. You did? Very clever. Good job. Yes. Here, you take this. What did he give us? 330 gold. Wow. So we can't convince him to go somewhere that's not public. It kind of makes it difficult for us to not get caught in assassinating him. And we have a new campsite area. And then we can end the day and rest. Oh, wait. 
We have a cutscene. What the? <laughs> what? Vlakith. Queen Vlakith. Skrull. You are a Sherlock. And still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! <sighs> my ears. I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The traitor Vos has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Orpheus. Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacketh. Yeah, for sure, because she is a pretend god. Oh my god, you can be like, Commander of Dragons, that's your destiny, Lazel. I can persuade her to kneel? No! I'm gonna keep silent. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Yes. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. That was it. That was a big... Wow, that was crazy. Let's go and speak to Lysel. Where's she at in this place? Anywhere down here? Dude, that was nuts. I didn't know she was just gonna, like, come and give us, like, the wet dream nightmare. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the one in the void. We knew it was a as lie. it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Consider Lysel's past and present. What is the source of her resentment? Well, she wanted to be faithful to Vlakith and had those dreams her entire life, then she found out the truth. So obviously, yeah, it makes sense why she would feel this way. Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Damn. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. Lazel's character development is so good. You're grieving the future you'll never have. Blackith took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. 
I'm moored to a new regent, a new land, mm. and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Sala Orpheus must still now forge an in Yeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Damn. You've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus's course. What about your own need? Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. Oh. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Blacketh promised to make you bath Blackheath. Sounds impressive. Blacketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlaketh won has a Bart to Vlaketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. It would be mad for you to get to this point in the story, like, and not realize that Vlaketh was a fake queen and she was only going to offer Lysel death, pretty much. Even with her false promises that she'd constantly been offering us before this point. Like, you'd have to be so tone deaf to choose those options. Kind of tempting in the next playthrough to do that. What's next? We take the Orphic Hammer from Raphael's lair. Orpheus Tafki Nazin. Oh, I love it. It's such a, it's such a mission. Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. Incredible. Right, it's time for bed now after that rude awakening. Gaia also has some thoughts as well. I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. That's not what happened. I think that's as a bug because we didn't, that's not what we said to Raphael. We rejected his deal. Don't worry, I said what Raphael wanted to hear. I have no intention of giving him the crown. I'm glad to hear it. But you realize we can't just tell him we changed our minds. For now, our plan must remain the same. We go to Sorcerer's Sundries and learn about that crown and pray the devil doesn't get there first. Yeah, I think that was a bug. Looks like Shadowheart also wants to speak with us. Maybe she heard about our rendezvous with those drow. Lady Shah's blessings be upon you. Okay. What's that look you're giving me? I feel like a mouse cornered by a cat. I give that look to everyone. As you mentioned, Shah, is she truly going to prevent us from being together? I don't know what to say. We're already together as much as Lady Shah allows. Is that not enough for you? No, I've been sleeping with many other people. If I can be with you, it is. You can. If you understand how to reconcile certain eccentricities in our relationship. I don't know what that Lady means. Lady Shah respects cunning. And that's exactly what you and I will need to demonstrate if you want this to continue. Rules are perhaps not always meant to be broken, but they are always intended to be bent. That kiss we shared wasn't my first, you know. Far from it. Lady Shah's initiates. We weren't supposed to have relationships. Or flings. Not even stray trysts. And yet, we found a way. Is this why you tell me about your former flames? <laughs> Don't worry. Even if I could remember them, none could withstand comparison to you. You can oh, frame oh. many acts as service to the Dark Lady if you put your mind to it. Seduction can be a worthy form of subterfuge. A snatched moment can practice the art of stealth. And making a lover wait? Well... There's few finer torments, if you know what you're doing. 
As long as my actions can be thought of as honoring Shah or honing skills in her service, there's a great deal of flexibility to be had. What's the catch? The catch is this. I can't truly love you. Not like most define it. I'll always have to keep a place for Lady Shah. But you're clever, willing and flexible. You needn't feel left wanting. I'll give you all that I can. Just don't call it love. Ends the conversation there, boys. We're not we're not in the friend zone. Don't know where we're at. Alright, let's go to bed. Got a nice hay mattress here in the city. Oh, hello. What the heck is going on now? The Empress. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his nether stone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash, fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders, and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't. Unwelcome. This is a romance option? You seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Berlin, is that it? The Duke that's dead? The very same. Duke Stelmane. As she was known in Baldur's Gate. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. Was it more intimate? In a way. But not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Do you need a hug? I appreciate the offer. But I don't think it will help. He's quivering What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. You need a hug. Most you. people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Give the Emperor's hand a reassuring squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless him. Oh, he Another didn't like quake. that. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. 
Oh, he tried. He just cop blocked me massively with the Elder Brain. Can't believe it. Now we can leave our camp. All right, let's head out the back of this kitchen. And then we're going to go south because there's a few more murder targets down here. And we need to do Gale's quest to find this bookshelf. Well, so we can head over to this library. I think it's important we find out more about this Netherese crown. It's just so pivotal in the plot. But there's one person here called Cora who we can go after. Okay. And she's somewhere around here at the wine festival. Hopefully she's downstairs though, because this area is so public. Like I can't kill people if it's like a public area without the whole city coming up. Maybe that's the point then. Maybe we're just meant to like destroy all the citizens. There's an upstairs area here. You can see a trap door here as well. Can we open this? Maybe with a star in. We need a 15. 24, no problem. Okay. Scratcher's ball. Wait, so this is where the dog was from. Okay, let's let's separate a star and get this. What is this? There's a loose plank with a high berry storage key. Ah, strong box. Elixir of universal resistance. So that was opened with the key we found in there. Hello? Anyone home? Gold in here. Let's disarm this. We need a 10. Easy. 15. 250 gold. What's in here? We need a 20. We got 32. Okay, easy. 100 gold. <laughs> kind of like not great for a level 20 chest. I'll take Scratch's ball. Now it says Cora is here somewhere, but I can't... Ah, so here she is. Okay, so Cora is actually outside right here. Hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call Bra. me Cora, Master Metzli, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Medicine failed. Dude, this guy has... Here's the red dwarf, all in red. He's a dwarf, and he has a nose piercing with the skull of Bal on it. This has to be him. I'm afraid I must have climbed, but I hope you enjoy your wine. Then please, Mrs. Ivory, lead the toast. Is she going to die from poison? Yep, she's been paralyzed. Let's talk to him. Our visitors return. The wine scent is almost sickly sweet with an acrid note just on the periphery. Oh, poison wine. That's a classic. <laughs> so if we like mess up his plans, can we just like take his place? No, it was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. What the heck just happened? He just duplicated himself? And they are paralyzed. Okay. 27 damage. Okay, they're all the same guy. Gale's got one health left, guys. Oh, a starring critical hit. Nice. He keeps morphing. Oh... Oh my god. There we go. This guy. I'll use the fear ability on him. Free attack. Because he tried to run away. Ooh, critical hit on a Starion. Not ideal. Use branding smite on him while he's laying down. Oh, he's definitely dead now. He's got a tombstone shop key and a promising candidate note. Interim report. The Scar Dwarf is a promising candidate for unholy assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate the next target, and I for one will be observing it closely. Shallow Kroll. I don't know who that is. We'll go and protect forward. Gale from dying. This is the last enemy. We can finish him off with the arrow shot. I still can't believe... What? We got a thousand gold for 
for saving her. I'll take that. There can only be one chosen of Val, and it shall be us. All right, let's continue onwards and see where the next one's taking place. I'm going to keep foiling this guy's plans, or at least take the kill for myself or something. That would be much better if we could do that. What's this? Defeated Steel Watcher. What do I do? Broken Steel Watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit Defective. Return to the Steel Watch Foundry at the West Docks. The West Docks? Okay, so that's where the Steel Watch Foundry is. Great. It's all the way down here. Disable the Steel Watch. Oh, we should probably do that before we attack Gortash. There's another murder victim just here inside this store, apparently. Let's actually Left. break Left. in. Right. I'm here to get Downstairs. you. Oh. Hello, hello. That's curious. Ah, okay. You've been picking where you shouldn't, Pear Tree. Placing Lordling's fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There is no art at all. Just burnt ash and corpse cinder. I walk through your basement here as I pen this. It's rather large. Roomy. They'd never find all the bits of you if I spread them out here properly. But he has a basement. Okay. And there is a parchment under this, which has the kill list. Oh, one sec. Is it under here? It is. Okay, let's get a star into lockpick this. What's inside? It might be trapped. Whoa, this guy looks massive. Why is he so big? Also a door here. Enhanced weapon sale of leisure. This led to records acquisitions and sale in Gortash's infernal weapon trade. He has a plus one great saw. There's a chest here. Some money. I guess this was the arms dealer down here. Clown Severed Arm and Yagashura the Second. What's use his heart? He thought himself a titan, but died weeping for his mother. And or in the red. Yes. Flesh. Human flesh, no less. So he's already killed these people. There's an offer here talking about where he was getting the infernal iron. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's go back upstairs. Now, if we take a look on the map, we've come from the Basilisk Gate where we entered the lower city, and then we went to the Elf Song Tavern basement to discover the secret sewer where apparently Bow's evil cult is hidden. And then we went all the way down to the south here to find one of the murder targets, Frank, who is dead. And now we need to come over here on the map to Sorcerer's Sundry for the Wizard of Waterdeep quest for Gale to find the bookseller that can give us more information about this extremely powerful crown. So we're currently standing outside the tower here and some of you may recognize Ardin is here. I have no idea why, but we're going to find out next episode. I'll link it just over here. I had actually already done like a bunch of recording in the tower and it is quite a huge area. So I'm just going to put it in next episode because otherwise this video would probably be like over two and a half hours long. So we'll carry on next episode. I want to make sure I try and get out tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this one though. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Drop a like before you leave. I'll see you soon.